Hello friends, today we are going to study about TEM, that is Transmission Electron Microscopy. It's a technique where the properties of electrons are used to generate image rather than the light which we use in conventional microscopes or normal type of microscopes. We have two types of electron microscopy. First is TEM, that is Transmission Electron Microscopy, which creates 2D image and another is SEM, that is Scanning Electron Microscopy, which creates 3D image. Now we will discuss TEM here. Now we see here it was Max Knoll and Ernest Ruska who invented this type of microscope. This is a microscope technique that uses high beam of electrons to create the image and this image is created on fluorescent screen. Now we are going to see the principle of transmission electron microscopy. It works on the principle of behavior of electrons, that is the nature of electrons, how they are going to react with this object. So we see here first it works on the principle of wavelength of electrons. Here the high velocity electrons are beamed onto specimen which creates less wavelength because the wavelength is inversely proportional to velocity which we are going to see further in this video. Second thing is the electrons create image. It's not the photons or the light that creates image here. Third thing is there it's based on the transmission of electrons through the object. That means there are some electrons which gets reflected back, which gets scattered back and these electrons does not and these electrons does not add to the image formation it's rather the, the electrons which go through the object and these electrons are able to create the image on fluorescent screen if we draw a diagram here the electron goes through the object and the electron that is transmitted through the object creates the image according to de broglie we know that de broglie gave the wavelength of electrons as h by mv where h is the planck's constant lambda is the wavelength of that electron and m is the mass of the electron which is the velocity of electron we know that here the velocity of electron is more that means the wavelength will be far far less we draw here the specimen here or the object which is to be observed and this is the incident electrons that is the electrons that are going to be bombarded onto it when the electrons interact with the specimen some electrons are reflected back in the form of backscattered electrons some are called secondary electrons and some are called auger electrons which are due to the other phenomena that are called as auger effect and some are there in the form of x-rays or other forms but here the electrons which are unscattered that go through the specimen form the image here but the image former here is 2d it's not a 3d which we will see in the same that scanning electron microscopy so here these images are formed on fluorescent screens guys thanks for watching the video do share it and do not forget to subscribe this channel